Hello friends, welcome to another Smiling Colors video. I am Smitha, also known as the Shiny Nest on Instagram, and today we're making a reversible fall Christmas pillow. I love adorable little felt pillows, and this reversible one turned out to be so cute. We have the word thankful for November, and then come December, we'll flip it over to say joy. What you will need. Let's start with the felt sheets. You can buy these at your local craft store or online. I bought a whole bunch of colors on Amazon and I love this collection. I chose two colors for today, a soft peach and a brown color. Now I'm not sewing this pillow, instead I'm using a fabric glue. This one is new to me, I just bought it the other day. It's called E6000 Fabric Fuse and I have high expectations from it. Start by applying a thin line of the fabric glue around three sides of our pillow. The instructions for this glue says to apply the glue to both the surfaces. So I added a line of glue onto the peach as well. On the fourth edge, I've left a big gap so that we can add stuffing into the pillow later. Press the two felt sheets together and let this dry overnight. The next day when I checked on the pillow, I was super happy at how the glue had dried and the seams formed were really really strong. So now I turned the pillow inside out, I used something pointy to push out the corners and we're ready to paint. I'm using a gold fabric paint. This is a dimensional paint but I've squirted this paint onto my palette and I'm going to paint with a paintbrush instead because I want a nice thick font. I'm inserting a scrap piece of cardstock into the pillow just to prevent the paint from seeping through. I'm using a number 2 round brush and painting in my word joy. You want to take into account the final seam and center your word accordingly. I start by painting the central letter that is a O. After the O, I'll then go and paint the J and the Y on either sides and try spacing them out evenly. The key to painting with fabric paint is to use very little water on your paintbrush. I actually try to use no water at all if possible. At this point I'm pretty happy with how it looks, but I wanted a bit more drama, so I added simple dots of gold all around the pillow, kinda like confetti. None of the dots are perfect, that's the beauty of handmade. I let it dry and I actually went over everything and gave a second coat of paint as well and this is how it looks. The gold is all shimmery and those dots look so pretty. You could totally stop at this point, but I wanted to really try and see if I could freehand letter with this paint. So I boldly flipped the pillow over and using the nozzle tip of the dimensional paint, I loosely lettered the word thankful onto the brown felt. Squeeze the nozzle onto a scrap piece of paper first to remove any air and also to figure out how much pressure the bottle needs for the paint to come out easily. Then start lettering and as you go you can kind of estimate how much space you will need for the remaining letters. And I'm not trying too hard to space everything evenly, I just want the whole entire word to fit on the given space. Now when you look closely you can see some uneven spots. I went over the thin lines with another coat of paint. You get this thick and thin lines when your hand doesn't give enough pressure on the bottle. Make sure to wipe off your nozzle before you put it away to prevent blockages. I then tried to smooth things with a dry paintbrush but I was a little too scared that I might spoil it so I just let it be. It looks pretty good. Then you want to let this dry for a few hours at least and here is how it dried. No cracks and the gold on the brown contrasts so beautifully. Now to quickly finish the pillow off, add some polyfill stuffing or anything else you have to fill the pillow. Close the final seam with the fabric glue again and you'll need to hold the seams together with some kind of binder clips or something else until the glue holds. And voila! You have a cute reversible dual holiday pillow. This was so much fun for me to make and I'm so happy with how it turned out. If you've been looking for a good fabric glue, look no more, this is it. Stop by my blog to find details about the glue, all other supplies and I'm also part of a handmade holiday blog hop today and there are fun prizes to be won. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave me a comment below telling me what you think of this reversible pillow idea. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today friends. Happy crafting!